Jack Thurston's story there indicating a beautiful day out there. It looked cooler, though, huh? Yeah, it certainly was. Well below what we typically expect this time of year, huh? Yeah. I mean, I was out riding my bike a little bit earlier today, and combination of the wind and the temperatures, I had the windbreaker on today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, first day of the year, and uh, I think we're going to find some more as we get into fall, huh? All right. Yeah. Let's take a live look right now over St. Johnsbury, where... It's a lot sunnier over there right now than it is at least here in the Champlain Valley where we've got a whole bunch of clouds around and a couple of showers too and we're going to track those for you here in just a moment but I wanted to show you just how far this coolness really expands. I mean it's all the way from the northeast all the way back through the Ohio River Valley. I mean look at places like uh, Pittsburgh and Detroit sitting at 71 degrees right now. This is a far cry from what we typically expect at this time of August. A little bit closer of an inspection. I mean, the Champlain Valley right now, looking at a 66 in Burlington, a 64 in Plattsburgh. There's that 54 at Saranac Lake. A little bit warmer for you down in the upper valley this evening, seeing temperatures a little bit closer to 70. But I did a little digging this afternoon, and, well, here's what I came up with. The highest temperature I've seen all day long in Burlington, 68 degrees. Your average high on September 21st, 68 degrees. So about a month from now, this is what we typically expect. But... Certainly not this time of year, that is for sure. Here's Storm Tracker 5000. Talked about a couple of those showers, and well, there they are, mainly across the North Country right now. Nothing all that heavy, uh, but perhaps you're out on the barbecue right now and you're trying to flip the burger and drop, flip the burger, drop. And that's kind of what we're going to be seeing here for this evening. And even into uh, Addison County, now past uh, Ticonderoga and getting in towards places like Montpelier there along Route 2, looks like a little shower for you. It's all thanks to this upper-level low-pressure system. I feel like we've been talking about this for oh so long now, and this thing just not going anywhere. So this reinforcing shot of cold air kind of swings in, and that's going to keep it fairly cloudy and fairly unsettled for your Friday and, unfortunately, right into your weekend as well. So we break it down for you now on Futurecast. There are your clouds. This is 8.30 tonight, and you can see just some widely scattered showers out there. Again, it's not a total washout. Nothing that would have your windshield wipers on high or anything, but, you know, it's certainly out there if you're out this evening trying to get for a little walk or go for a little evening jog. For overnight, you can see the clouds sticking around, and for tomorrow morning, too, probably around drive time, looks like we could see some scattered shower activity, and it's going to be hard to rule out a shower at any point during the day, but it certainly looks like the morning is the wettest with the afternoon, perhaps, being a little bit more isolated in coverage. But what you will notice a lot more clouds tomorrow than what you have today. I mean, we saw that live look at St. Johnsbury where there was a whole bunch of sunshine. I'm not thinking we see that for tomorrow. I think we stay fairly cloudy. I think we keep it pretty cloudy overnight, too. Saturday, I think there's a little hope. <laughs> I think we'll find some sunshine out there and uh, lesser in the way of shower activity. Can we rule one out? Unfortunately, no. But I think there will be more dry times than wet times as we take you into your day Saturday. So we break down your forecast this way for tonight. We'll do a low of about 54 degrees, cloudy periods. We'll find those couple of showers too. For your tomorrow, uh, unfortunately a lot like today with the cool temperatures. In fact, likely even cooler tomorrow. I mean, look at that, only 65 in Burlington, finding a 61 in Messina, closer to 70 in Keene. Here's your five day plus two. So it's unsettled, like I said, right into the weekend. Although Saturday, probably the driest out of the next three if I had to take a stab at it. But notice we finally start to recover. I mean, we've got that 74 on Monday, more in the way of sunshine, and then finally closer to average, those 80-degree temperatures return on Wednesday. All right. Well, after the streak we've had, we're not going to complain. I don't think so. I think we'll be looking forward to 80 degrees. All right. Thanks, John. Yeah.